Get that trash out of here. Who would want to watch that garbage? This is YouTube. You guys aren't here to read, especially when you've got such a talented artist as your host. Hey guys, it's Evan from Code Bullet here. You probably met my writing before, but as great as white text on a black background is, I thought it'd be about time to upgrade. I know it's a bit early to start thanking my Patreon supporters, but I can't help it. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to you, I was able to go out and buy this awesome mic um, and start actually talking in my videos for once. Anyway, it is Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, mostly gentlemen, actually 95% gentlemen. Just made myself sad. So yes, it's Pac-Man time. Let me tell you about the struggle which is the making of Pac-Man and why it took me so long to make. Sorry about the wait, guys. First of all, Pac-Man is hard. It's way more complicated of a game than you'd think compared to other games like the Asteroids where the AI only had to learn to like point and shoot and also avoid. Pac-Man is so much more complicated. So when I just threw the AI in it, it had no idea what it was doing. It wasn't learning anything. It didn't know when to eat the ghosts, when to not eat the ghosts. Sometimes it was allowed to, sometimes it wasn't. And I also had to learn to navigate the maze at the same time. It was, it was a mess, it was not happening. So I had to hold its hand a little bit. I split the learning into three stages. Uh, the first stage was with no ghosts, no big dots, just Pac-Man learning to navigate the maze. The only way it could die is if it stops moving or doesn't eat any pellets within a certain amount of time. After about 20 generations of learning, we introduce the ghosts, but we keep the big dots out of there. Now that Pac-Man has learned to navigate the maze, it can focus on learning how to evolve to avoid the ghosts. And since there are no big dots, Pac-Man isn't confused by sometimes being able to eat them and sometimes they kill him. Then after another 40 generations of learning, we introduce the big dots and we can finally finish the game in theory. In practice, it's always a bit different, but that's the idea. Also, I'm sorry about my drawing skills, but I need to put something on the screen. I know my amazing artistic skills might be distracting for some, but I'm sure you guys can bear with it. All right, let's jump into it. When the AIs are first thrown into the game, they are useless. They absolutely suck. The best first generation could do is an AI which always turns right, which is fantastic unless you intend on playing the game of Pac-Man. So safe to say that didn't last very long. By generation two, it has figured out how to turn both left and right which is great, but it still gets stuck. I hope you're enjoying the new layout. It's got the neural net controlling the Pac-Man in the bottom right corner, so you can watch it evolve as Pac-Man's behavior involved. I think it's pretty cool. As you can imagine, playing Pac-Man without any ghosts is quite simple. Well, it's simple for a human, but surprisingly hard for an AI. So I had to change the controls up to make it far more intuitive for them. Instead of the controls turning Pac-Man in an absolute direction, like north, south, east, or west like they normally are, I had to change it so it's relative to Pac-Man. So for example, turn left or right. This way they could have simple rules such as when Pac-Man sees a wall in front of it, it turns left. You can see how complicated the neural network is getting even though we haven't added any ghosts or any big dots yet. Okay, so by generation 18, it's getting pretty good. It still actually doesn't complete the maze, but it gets up to around 200, which I'm pretty happy with. As you would expect, the AIs have no idea what's going on. They've just been suddenly introduced to evil ghosts which will try and eat them. So, fair to say they're not doing super well. It's kind of like introducing an invasive species. It's evolve or perish. But slowly and surely, the AIs learn to avoid the ghosts. Also, I hope you noticed the awesome sprites I made for Pac-Man and the ghosts. Well, I'll be honest, I just copied Pac-Man, but... I have original designs for the ghosts. I got an angry Blinky, a girl Pinky, which is all the personality she gets. Clyde is just uselessly adorable, and I kind of lost interest by the time I made Inky, so he's just kind of like angry with a smile. Pac-Man is actually a very difficult game without the big dots, without the energizer dots, even for a human. So the fact that these guys are getting uh, scores of about 100, 150 is fairly impressive, I think. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Let's add the dots and see how they go. They actually adapt very quickly to the introduction of the big dots. And as you would expect, the scores they are getting skyrocket. This guy is just going to town on the ghosts, getting some revenge for the past 40 generations of torture.
Here we are, Generation 73, and spoiler alert, this is the one that finally does it. Finally, after two weeks of trying and failing, of blood, sweat, and tears, finally got it to finish the game. There's no way I could make a video and have it not finish the game. It's only got four dots left, gets the button two, gets the top two, and then gets confused and dies. Hey guys, I hope you appreciated the mic. Um, bunch of people were asking for it, which is why I did it. And I, I think it's a lot more fun than just white text on a black background. But if you guys prefer that, tell me in the comments. Um, and if you guys prefer me with a microphone, also tell me in the comments. It's really appreciated. I know I already thanked them, but I want to send another huge thanks to my Patreons for really allowing me to do this. YouTube's still being a pain in the ass and hasn't actually approved my channel yet which is kind of frustrating, but thanks to my Patreons, I can actually keep at it. While I'm thanking people, I would like to thank my buddies over at my Discord channel who helped me make the awesome intro at the start. I say help me make, they did everything. I added some music to it. Um, it's awesome, thank you guys so much. While on the topic of outsourcing my work to you guys, my channel art is trash. It is not gonna cut it. You guys have seen my attempt at art and it's fair to say that I need a bit of help. So if anyone wants to be a bloody champion and head over to my Discord channel to post any art there, that would be phenomenal. Thank you guys so much. I've decided to do live Q and A's every week. Um, I put it out to my Patreons and they reckon the best time for them was any day from 8.30 till nine. So I'm gonna choose Sunday night, 8.30 to nine. That's Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys can make it, that'd be awesome. Send me a question. I'll try and answer as many people as I possibly can within that time. As per usual, I do have a beautiful fail video for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed the fail video. Have a good one. See you next time. Nope.